You're watching News 10 at 5. A local police officer known and loved in his quiet community, gunned down, killed today in the line of duty, protecting the residents of the town of Galt. 31-year-old officer Kevin Ton shot and killed by a burglary suspect. He started in the Galt Police Department in 2009. Before that, he was a military policeman and a paramedic. The tragedy happened at about 1130 this morning. Officer Kevin Tan was shot and killed in a field near the railroad tracks in the 200 block of F Street in Galt. News 10's Dina Kupfer begins our team coverage tonight live from the scene. Dina. Dale, the patrol car of Officer Kevin Ton still sits behind us at this hour, and that is where the tragic scene unfolded earlier today. We've been told that Kevin Ton was shot and killed in that field near the ro railroad tracks. Meanwhile, the suspect also killed today. Apparently, he turned the gun on himself. Now, today, fellow officers remembered Ton, saying he always wanted to be a police officer. Tragically, today would be his last. It's just a really tough blow. It was a very dark day for everyone. Kevin Tan was a three year veteran of the Galt Police Department and member of the canine unit. The first line of duty death since 1989 for the close knit police department. Sergeant Ramos says Tan was following up in a residential burglary report in the 200 block of F Street when he saw who he believed was the suspect walking toward the train tracks. We believe he engaged the suspect first, had some kind of altercation, called for additional officers. This is police say stop, stop. Tan approached the man, and that's when witnesses say things turned violent. Canine officers stopped the subject over by the railroad track, started, you know, uh, fighting with him and, and questioning, started questioning and fighting with him and, and struggle pursued. And uh, uh, they the, the officer went down with the subject. Oh, I just heard three shots. Witnesses living nearby heard the tragic scene unfold. And I told my daughter, I said, it sounded like uh, somebody got shot. Sergeant Ramos says the suspect fired multiple rounds and shot Officer Ton. Then it appears he shot and killed himself. Police don't believe the officers ever exchanged gunfire with the suspect. All indications right now, and this is preliminary, is, is that it was a one-way gun battle. Officer Ton was taken to the hospital where he died from his injuries. Agencies now pulling together once again to support their own. Just a few months ago, an animal control officer was shot and killed while responding to a call. It's devastating. Um, you know, two people, uh, you know, committed to service just basically in the course of their employment. Uh, dedicated to serve that lose their <clears throat> lose their lives uh, in the course of their employment is devastating for everybody involved. Certainly a very emotional day here for many of the law agencies out here. Now, the name of the suspect has not yet been released. Meanwhile, the Sheriff's Homicide Bureau is conducting this investigation. They have said today that they are going to help out the Galt Police Department in any way they can, helping to respond to calls and, of course, just to be there for their fellow workers and uh, fellow officers. Reporting live here in Galt, I'm Dina Kupfer, News 10. Yeah, this is a police agency not used to these kind of tragedies. I mean, before this, it was, I think, 1989 was the last office officer to die on duty and and that was from a heart attack and our just got to say our hearts go out to that community and that officer's family. Dina thanks. From Dina our